Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's had a good week. Today guys, I'm gonna do a video on and show y'all how to put a notch frame kit on a G-body on how it's done. And if you was to put one on, uh, you probably could do it at your self uh, at home. All you would need would be a welder and a grinder and um, pretty much they give you the kit and you just lay it out and cut it and then weld it back in. So let's get started guys. I'm gonna show y'all how it's done. Okay guys, here we, here we have a rear frame notch kit for a G body. And when you order this, guys, it comes just like this. And what it is is, you're gonna cut the frame, you're gonna lay this out. You're gonna lay this out on the frame and mark it. And then this is gonna be your front tab. It's gonna be your back tab. Um, this kit, guys, is from BMR. It was something like $120 to $150, somewhere around in there. But um, what you do, guys, is you take and weld, you take and um, cut the frame, and what it does is it helps set the tire in more up under the fender. So um, I'm going to pretty much show y'all guys um, how, how to install one today. Okay, guys, what y'all want to do is, you see, this frame here, it ain't been cut yet. But you see right here, uh, this is your fender, inner fender. And then you see where the factory weld is right here? Well, that's like a half inch, guys. So what I do is I end up going and cutting that thing all the way down, down through here. Like that right there. And then come to about, down about right there. And then come straight down. And then you go actually go under here, guys, and cut to the weld. And then I come all the way back up. Let's see if I can show you a little better. See that weld right there? I cut along that weld right there and cut cut that weld out all the way up through there, guys. All the way out. Just like that. And what it'll do is I'll cut it all the way up to here and then it'll come up through here guys and come straight up and cut and I'll, and I'll end up cutting all this out. So what you do is you lay this template that they give you up here just like that guys. And you mark it out. You mark it out up there and then you mark it out back back here and after you mark it out after you mark that out you come back and cut it up and clean it up cut it out and clean it up guys and then you'll end up setting that template in there and welding it in then after you get it cut out this will be your back one what this will do is this is going to frame this way and fill it back in from where you cut it out at and weld it in. So they give you a back one, which is a narrow one. And then they give you a front one, guys, that goes in the front up here. And what it'll do is it'll go in this way. You'll push it in there like that, and then you'll weld it in after, it's, um, after you done put your template in there and got it welded back in. But, um... I already did the other side, guys. I just wanted to show y'all on pretty much um, how it's done. But uh, I'll show y'all the other side. Uh, I'm actually already finished it. I got to do this side. So, But what it does, guys, is is if you put a rim on here and you try to put a lot of tire up on it, you can't put, kind of like Novas, you can't put much tire on them. But if you do want to put more tire on them, you can go here and notch the frame and put more tire on them. So... And what that does is it lets the rim and the tire set for the back in the um, in the fender well, so you can get more tire on it. So I'm gonna show y'all the other side, guys, how I've already finished it and how it turned out. Okay, guys, this is the other side. Um, if you see right there where I actually cut the frame and moved it in, and then I actually welded that template in it all the way up and all the way around. A lot of work guys but 
You can see right here where it moved the frame in and then see where I put the piece back in it. And like I said, what that does guys is it lets you put more tire to the inside of this thing. So, um, but I'm gonna show y'all some, put some clips in guys where I was working on it at and cutting it out and stuff. Um, and welding it back in and some of the steps I went through to, uh, to get it done. But, but yeah, guys, that's how you, uh, put in a, a frame notch kit on a G body. So. After you uh, get through welding it in and all that, you come back and put you some undercoating on it. Go up town and get you some undercoating and then undercoat it so it don't rust. And that's how it turns out, guys. Okay guys, I wanna show y'all um, the differences between the one that has not been notched with a four and a half inch backspace wheel um, and one that has been notched. So this one guys hasn't been notched yet. And if you look, it's real close to the tire right there, to the frame. And um, this thing's got radials on it right now, but if you put slicks on it and it started swaying any at all, it would rub the frame. So right here is one that's not been notched. And if you look, and look right on at the front, that's the front of the tire. It's right on it, guys. So. This side hasn't been notched yet, and then I'm going to show you all the side that has been notched. Okay, guys, this side's been notched already. And uh, if you can see, you got way more room clearing the tire on this side, guys. You can see right there, guys, you got plenty of room now clearing the frame. And then look on the front side, guys. So this side is notched, guys, and we gaining like a half inch. We're on the side that's not been notched. Uh, it's, it's close. It's like an eighth of an inch rubbing. So, um, so the notch frame kit, it does help guys. So this side has been notched. The other side has not been notched. And you can see the difference guys, how much more tire clearance you have. So, so there it is guys. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe guys. And I'll see y'all in the next upload. I want to put a shout out, guys. I want to thank everybody that watched the muffler and the resonator video on the on the truck. Um, it, it really turned out pretty good, guys. I got like 2,800 views on that video in a day. So um, that video really turned out pretty good. But I wanted to thank everybody that watched the video and commented. And uh, I actually got like 10, 10 subscribers from that video too, guys. So. There again, thanks guys for everyone that's been watching the channel and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next upload, guys.